Next, I get meet up with a guy that I've been following for a long time since he was Jay High, Chance Robinson. Chance Robinson from the Purple Machine, I've seen play on huge stages from South Florida all the way out to Cali. Now he's at Juggernaut St. Thomas Aquinas. St. Thomas have put over 40 guys in the NFL. Two notable names you may know is Nick and Joey Bosa. Both of the brothers went to St. Thomas. But Nick and Joey didn't get NIL. NIL came right after Nick and Joey. But what they did get is 100 M's. We were sitting down with Chance and uh, his mom. Chance's mom, Joan, has played a huge part in his recruitment and NIL journey. Huge part. Chance's mom, Joan, is nothing to play with. She's a business lady. She got businesses. Let's go. Listen, we've all heard the Michael Wall story, homeless kid, makes it to the NFL, ah, rags to riches. This is not it. This is not what we're about to walk into. We're about to sit down with our next NFL baller, Chance Robinson. Chance Robinson, St. Thomas Aquinas. He's being recruited by colleges across the nation. You pick it, you name it, the logo, they're recruiting him. Let's see what Chance and his family thinks about NIL. Chance, what's going on, bro? On? Chilling, man. Just come for practice? Yes, Chance, we far from the Miami Garden Ravens, bro. Yes, sir. It's your last year in school? Yes, sir. You remember the first time you thought about 2024, your being your, your, your graduation year? It was a long time ago. Yeah, right? I'm, thinking, like, man, I'm thinking, man, I got a lot of time to go, man. I'm thinking I got a lot of time to go. Came pretty fast, huh? Yes, sir. So listen, um, this is NIL Ballers. I mean, we came here to talk about NIL. Uh, <clears throat> when you go to these schools, because I sat down with you earlier, um, and, mm -hmm. and now you're further along in the process. <laughs> when you go to these schools, um, are they talking to you about NIL differently than they were doing? Because everybody's learning and everything. Are they talking about it differently? Like, how, how are they presenting it to you when you go to these schools? Shoot, bro. If I'm being real, I only sat down once and heard my NIL money. So yeah. uh, right, all the other times, my parents, I mean, they left me out of it. So. <laughs> Yeah, they, 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 no I don't really know what I what I'll be making when I go to college. If yeah. you know what I'm saying, so they sat down with them. They sat down with the people and really talked to them about that money. Cause, yeah, you know, yeah. That, but that's how they are though. They don't really, you know, what I'm saying they not really. They don't make sure nobody playing me or doing me no other way. You know, you know, I appreciate that. So I only really sat down once and heard. No, what I no, no. You should you should appreciate that to have somebody on your side that understands yeah. that stuff. But do you 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 hear kids around you talking about NIL? Everybody sees it a little different, huh? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, sure. I guess it, it's kind of like um, wherever you come from. Like, like mm -hmm. before I walked in here, I told them the rags of riches story, Michael Ward. This is not what we're walking into. Mm -hmm. we're walking to a young man who probably never seen his lights go off. We're walking to a young man who ain't never been homeless. This ain't that story because yeah. they love to tell that story. Mm -hmm. um, this is a different story. So you probably see money, money different. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Talk about your parents, bro. Like some things you've learned from them when it comes to money and, and business and the NIL. I mean, you know, uh, coming from stuff like this, mm -hmm. um, my parents didn't really come for this. Coming from stuff like this, I mean, they they work for I me. Mean, I've been a lot of times with, with my dad and mom, you know, going down to Edison and seeing where they came from, going right. down to Liberty, Remy Brown, so my dad from showing me where his, his aunt and where he used to live and where he used to play and stuff like that. And it looks nothing like this, you know what I mean? So it's that's just something that's different. You know, people would be like, oh, you from suburbs, how you got motivation? and stuff like that. I mean, that's cool. Though. I mean, I, I know I'm from suburbs, what it is, what it is, but you know, um, it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's your determination, your hard work at the end of the day. It's, yeah. it's your mindset. So I get it from them and that's what I do with it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. What do you say to somebody that say that? Because uh, you from the suburbs, what do you find motivation? You think being hungry is the only way to... <laughs> I just laugh. Yeah, you just laugh? I just laugh. What is your motivation? My parents. I mean, your parents? Yeah, I mean, if they can make it out of a situation like that, I know I, you know, it should be really no excuse why I can't go out there and work hard and, yeah. and give 100% because, you know, they made a way, you know, my mom being homeless, you know, my dad not always having his dad around, you know, my mom not always having her dad around, you know, it's just, it's different, you know what I mean? So if they, 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 they find a way to do it, you know, I definitely have a way and can find a way to do it knowing that I got somebody to lean on, knowing that I got generational wealth around me. I mean, it should be no excuse that I shouldn't go out and be something they should be proud of. So that's that's really why I get the motivation from. You know what and I mean? That's a, that's a great, great answer. We know it's not a big deal for you, but at the mm -hmm. end of the day, the bottom line, NIL is in college. You're yeah. going to walk into college as a freshman mm -hmm. and probably have a big NIL number. Yeah. Have some money in your pocket that's mm -hmm. not dad money anymore. Yeah. Anything you plan on buying that your parents wouldn't let you buy? Like, you got anything you thought about, bro? Um, 
Probably uh probably a car. I mean I've been yeah. I've been I've been that's probably gonna be my first smartest purchase. I mean that should be yeah. the first thing you should be doing a way to get around and move around. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I asked for a car this year, it, it wasn't gonna go. They didn't get you a car? Nah, they they not Why they won't get you a car too? I mean, I don't know. I mean, they they tell me no for for stuff for no reason all the time. I mean, but I, I, mean, I don't have no problem with that. You tell me no, no is no. no right, that's right. what it is. All right, man. Um, well, your your mom. You said you didn't really talk about nil. Your parents did. So we're gonna go see what your mom has to say about nil. 